have what appears to be one of the biggest scares, followed by one of the biggest stories of survival happening out here on Tempe Town Lake tonight. Ab approximately 18 kids with special needs on a boat that flipped over and we have just learned the incredible news as we told you before the break that these 18 kids are all accounted for safe on the shore. It's unbelievable. We do know that there are possibly some injuries. Some of the kids are experiencing some signs of hypothermia. Uh, we do have a crew on the scene. Let's get right now to Nick Saletti. Nick, uh, I understand that you just got there. What can you tell us? Yes, yeah, Stephanie, we did just arrive on scene, and what I can tell you is that this is very, very active. We have a number of units here from Tempe Fire. We also have a number of units from uh, Tempe Police on scene, too. And pardon me, I'm just I'm making my way closer to the water, and it looks like I can spot the boat in question here. Now, uh, just to reiterate what you said, uh, we're hearing also from our sources on the ground that uh, everyone was able to make it out safely with no injuries, but there are a few people. We're still working to figure out the number, but there are a few people that are showing some signs of hypothermia. So we're going to work our sources on scene to see exactly uh, how many people that could be and also what might have led up to this, because right now we're still working with investigators to see exactly what happened. But the good news is we can confirm uh, no major injuries here, but this is a very, very active scene. I'm seeing uh, at least the two dozen firefighters uh, huddled up right now. Again, I'm sure still just trying to uh, make sure everyone is doing okay and also trying to figure out exactly what happened. As soon as I get an update, though, I will call back and let you guys know what's going on here at Tempe Town Lake. And yeah, Nick, this is oh, a credible scene. Mm -hmm. We're getting our first look at the live pictures from the ground as you're talking to us, Nick, and we're seeing just dozens and dozens of first responders out there. Right, and we also see it looks as though that these might be teenagers because um, uh, I know when we, were saying, when we were saying special needs kids, you might have the, uh, the, the, the interpretation that these are small children, but it looks as though the, uh, the people here with the life preservers on uh, are teenagers. So I know Nick will be continuing to ask questions as to who exactly was involved. But again, we're so thrilled to be able to report that there are no uh, injuries except for a few people experiencing hypothermia. Everyone has been accounted for. Yeah, and we're seeing so many people there as you see this person wrapped in a blanket, wet hair, clearly just getting out of the water. And we had learned earlier that some are uh, showing signs of hypothermia. So they're going to be checked out to make sure that they're okay. Though you see the temperature out there at this hour, 63 degrees, and the water just had to be frigid going in at this hour of the evening. Certainly. And I wonder if this is one of the boats or one of the canoes out there. There are several different types types of boats that they rent out the the pontoons the kayaks there's some of the the races that they do out there that a lot of people train on throughout the year uh, that hold several people some of the pontoons holding up to 10 people and as you see one of those kayaks there could hold quite a few more we're seeing Nick Saletti in the shot right there as we work to get him back on the phone do we have Nick already looks like he's yeah, uh, talking with someone Nick yeah. we can hear you yeah. go ahead okay. hold on one second guys okay you you were telling me that you were actually in the water trying to save some of these people. Talk to me about that. Yeah, when, when I hear the call, they were already capsized out there in the middle of the lake. So we heard the call and we all put in our paddles and put out another boat and uh, we head out there and try to rescue them. What did you see? What was it like? You, you just saw the boat flip suddenly or what was it I like? I see when it happens, mm -hmm. um, but when I, when I got here, half of the paddle is already you know, trying to swim out and some of them stay in the boat um, so to wait for rescue. And were you already in the water at the time, sir? No, I, I was in process of getting into the water. Okay. So did you get in a boat or did you just we, jump we in and swim? In the boat, um, you know, uh, like six of the paddlers, including myself, jump into the boat and start paddling toward to the site. And you were able to pull people out of the water? Um, they didn't need to. Half of the, yeah. uh, the, the firemen already got here, so they okay. rescued some of them. So we were just helping out pulling out water from, okay. the, from the boat. And so what was the age range for these kids, teenagers, adults? I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Um, roughly around uh, about 20. From what I saw, a couple of them was about, about between 30 to 40 years old. Okay. Well, thank you, sir, very much for your heroic efforts. Thank you very much for talking to us. I, I can't hear you guys right now. I apologize for that. But as you can see behind me, I can't reiterate enough. Very, very active scene here. We have people in blankets. Presumably those were some of the folks who were actually in the water. We're going to walk up to get a little bit closer right now and see exactly what's happening. But you can see a Tempe fire here on the scene still. Still a lot of people here. Again, they're just trying to check everyone out to make sure they're okay. You can see this is the boat. This looks like the boat that was actually the one that, that capsized. Do you know, was that the boat that capsized, ma'am? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Were you with this group, ma'am? Uh, I am with the group, but okay. everybody's fine. Okay, you're, you're on live TV. Sure. I just want to reiterate that. Everyone's okay. doing okay? Everybody's doing okay. okay. We just want to make sure hypothermia doesn't set in. Um, these are our disabled athletes. Uh, they're a group that comes out in paddle every year. Uh, What's the name of the group? Disabled athletes, Arizona Disabled Athletes. Okay. So everybody's fine. We're doing head counts. We're checking them out, okay. making sure we follow protocol. Okay. So right now, boats, we're bailing out the boats with the water. Um, the actual captain is around here somewhere. But for now, we just want to make sure we have a head count, everybody's okay, and then we got everybody safe on land. Any idea of what may have happened? Uh, it's kind of one of those things. It could happen at any point in time. Our competitive teams happened to them. Uh, he moved too much, slight turn. So, but everybody had PFDs on. Okay. So again, just following procedures, protocol, okay. and we did the right thing. Okay, we're just so happy that yeah. everyone is doing okay. Yeah. Thank you so much for talking Thank to us. You okay. Have a great day. Thank you. Okay. So again, the update: everyone is doing okay. They're just checking to make sure nobody is suffering from hypothermia right now. We're live at Tempe Town Lake tonight. Nick Saletti, ABC 15, Arizona. It just incredible. so stresses mm -hmm. the importance of life preservers in any situation when you're out there on the water. This is a, a perfect example of it. A successful rescue of more than 18 student athletes out there on the water today. And we're back right after this.